Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for August 21st, Tuesday, August 21st. This is for all signs. We will just see whatever comes up. Typically, my readings are love readings, so... Oh, we had a flipper. Children, your love life is being affected by children. Let me just turn this thing on. Here we go. So your love life is being affected by children. Okay. You know, and that could go so many ways. We all know that it could. Maybe your partner wants children, you don't. Maybe they have children and it's a, you know, it's hard to deal with. Or, you know, you have children and it can go vice versa, you know, or you're single and you have a child and it's impacting your ability to date. Whatever the case is, children are affecting your love life. Maybe you're stuck in a relationship because of children. Oh, codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. So children and addictions. Now, codependency could be so many things. That could be the fact that I don't just want to be alone. That's a codependency. Um, sex is an addiction. Um, drugs are an addiction. Spending is addiction. There's so many different kinds, okay? So, codependency and children are affecting your romantic life. Some people stay in a relationship or uh, whatever they're in for for the children because they think think that they can't take care of themselves, you know. So that would be a codependency children issue, you know. Other people stay, um, you know, for who knows what reason. Maybe they are in love, you know. And then then you shouldn't be watching a, a tarot reading, you know. If you're if you're in love, then there's probably no no reason to. You know, if you're in love and everything is working out fantastically well, then then you don't you don't need a reading. Some of you are in a happy commitment, right? Or that's what you desire. I want I want a happy commitment. Some people are feeling like, you know, I just, I just want to celebrate. I want to go out and have fun. I want to um, be in a commitment. I just want to be in a commitment. There's happiness here. Exciting new opportunity for some of you. There's an exciting new partnership perhaps or something that is very passionate coming in. If you haven't met this person yet, you could meet them at a gathering, okay? There is another opportunity for love. So 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 for some of you, you know, there is some emotional disappointment that somebody is still concentrated on, but they have an opportunity for love. But they don't see it. I don't see it or you're not acknowledging it and you may not be acknowledging it or you may be pushing it off could be because of children who knows um, five of cups that's a kind of difficulty you know something is difficult in the love arena but there's a there's a spark here somewhere there's a spark that could lead to happiness if somebody could just see it and acknowledge it. Yeah, it could definitely lead to happiness. There's no doubt. Happiness. Mm. But somebody is doing themselves an injustice by being indecisive. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. It is. It's like, I don't know what I want. I don't know what I want. There's, they're very unbalanced. You know, so I think, you know, I want a commitment, but I don't. 
you know, afraid, afraid of being treated unfairly, afraid of letting themselves be happy, afraid of this new spark, afraid of this passion, afraid of this exciting new beginning. There is an opportunity for a lot of growth here, whatever it is. There is. With a lot of happiness. If you could get over the hurt, if you could get over the loss, if you could get over the heartache that you've been through. Stop focusing on all the bad stuff. Stop worrying about it. You know, you have an opportunity to, to get to know somebody or work with somebody that will appreciate you and do whatever it takes, you know, is willing to learn about you. Willing to work together. But you're going to have to let your guard down. You're going to have to get over those, those me that mental conflict that keeps you going back and forth. There's a definitely some indecision here. I mean, reluctant. Somebody is reluctant to have this, this passionate new beginning. Yikes. So it's like, you know what? I, I have finally restored control in my life. I have finally broken the chains. Okay, I've finally broken the chains and, I, and I'm feeling liberated and I'm feeling really good where I'm at. But I want more. I want more. I want this partnership. I want this, this, this passion. I have a lot of passion and a lot of fire within me that is trying to come out. But I'm really scared. I'm really scared of... Of, a, of any problems or really scared of a relationship. So somebody is reluctant to allow these, a bond to develop. I'm, I'm reluctant to let a bond develop here. And if I fear that I will sacrifice my, my own ideals by letting my guard down. So yeah, I've, um, let me get this zoomed in. Somebody is sacrificing themselves or, or sabotaging themselves from being in a relationship and being happy by being indecisive and back and forth. There's a lot of back and forth here. Um, kind of like protecting themselves I'm trying to protect myself from from being manipulated from being hurt whatever because I've been hurt so bad so I feel as though you know you have an opportunity for togetherness for happiness with a new suitor or a new partner or a new path you know you have this new opportunity that is is looking at you and it's very well it's hard to de deny put it that way it's hard to deny because there's there's so much fire in it you know what i mean you it's like you're so drawn to it you can't stop wanting it okay i can't i want it i really really want it but the past hurt, the, the difficulties, the regrets, the rejection, the, the suffering, the grief that, that has hurt you is not allowing you to see the potential for happiness. And that's a terrible, terrible, terrible injustice. It is, it's an injustice to yourself because you're not allowing things to balance out as they should. You're not even taking the steps to even make it balance it's like i'm just gonna continue to to teeter and go back and forth and 
be dishonest with myself and treat myself unfairly because then I'm protected. You know, I think that now is the time to see things from that new perspective, to truly, truly see things from a new perspective and allow yourself to be happy. Allow yourself to evolve, okay? We have a lot of growth here that wants to happen, but somebody is not allowing it. I just don't allow it. You know, you're going to have to make some compromises. And that may be one of the fears. Is that, yeah, if I allow this new passionate start, this beginning, whatever, to start, I am going to have to make compromises. And therefore, you're reluctant to make those compromises. If you commit, things change. You have to work together. You have to join. You have to, you know... can't think of the word for it. integrate so I feel as though there's a I, I'm I, I all I want is happiness I want a relationship but I am afraid of well, let me get another card. sacrificing myself and it not working out You know, the, the, I do, I do. I want something solid. I want something stable. I'm looking for abundance. I'm looking for something long term. So yeah, I think there's an opportunity for something that could lead to long term with a lot of happiness, but perhaps you're on the fence about it so much because of the children and because you don't want to get, you don't want to get, you don't want to get like connected to somebody and then you know, you don't want to get connected. That's that codependency thing. And then have it not work out. A lot of fear here. There is. I, I'm really afraid to open my heart. Although there's a spark. A hot one. Okay. There's a, there's a, there's a undeniable spark that is urging you to, to celebrate. To be happy. To go for it. Mm. Okay, so it's a time of inspiration. It's a dream come true. It's a wish. It's something that you wished for. It could lead to to something, you know, very pure. It feels like there is a, you are being given an opportunity from above that is very passionate. It has a lot of room for growth has room for commitment and stability and something solid in long term but your your own reluctance to allow is hindering the progress when really this is a blessing you've been giving given a blessing a blessing a gift and part of life does involve making compromises you know blending So I feel like like there this is a time of perhaps allowing a new beginning to grow into a commitment. If you can just see the potential. You have to see the potential. Somebody is really afraid to be, to get dependent. I'm afraid to depend on you. I'm, a, I'm afraid to connect. I'm afraid to allow this into my life, even though this is what I want. This is what I want. So, you know, somebody needs to to really stop teetering. They need to stop being in limbo, okay? It's time to take a risk, to fly, to have faith. You know, whenever I see the hangman reversed, I often think of the fool. 
It is. It's, it's time to just go with it. It's time to fly. To replace that fear and to, and to jump, to leap. It could lead to something really long term. But you have to step outside of your own inner conflict and allow this blessing to be yours. So I feel like today or yesterday or tomorrow or whatever, there is a a wish or, or a blessing coming your way. And you will have to decide whether to appreciate it, accept it, or deny it. Oh, I had to look. I, it's love. It's love. Being given to you from above. It's the raw opportunity for love and happiness. It's what you want. But you might not know that what you deserve. I see protecting here, protecting myself. I am, I'm protecting myself at this point. You need to take a risk. Don't bring the baggage with you. It's something you have been dreaming of. So this is what I have for today. I feel like this is a new partner. I do. I don't I don't see any any reconciliation cards here. I feel like this is somebody brand new. I mean that for this is for thousands of people, so whoever, you know, if you want to believe it's for somebody new, you go ahead and believe that. I mean somebody a uh, reconciliation whatever. I feel like this is somebody new that you have freed yourself from something that is toxic. The toxic situation is still reeling. The toxic situation is holding you back from this new love, this new opportunity. Some of you have let that toxic situation go completely and this opportunity is here. Some of you are still concentrating on this, these demons, but there's a new opportunity waiting for you. That could lead to something solid, stable, secure, and long-term. Commitment. Marriage. So yeah, this is what I have for today. I feel like it is a... an opportunity for love. And it's exciting. Talk to you later.